Okay, I want to take a minute to show you how to fill out your data table for the nuclear chemistry radioactive decay portion of the lab. So remember that my parent isotope, the one that I'm going to start with, is neptunium-245. So in my first line here with my parent isotope, I'm going to put my neptunium with my atomic notation here with the mass number of 245 and the atomic number of 93. So that's going to serve as my parent isotope. Okay, And then I'm going to draw one of my radioactive decay cards and I get beta decay. So I'm going to fill that in in the column for the decay particle. Okay, so now I have my parent isotope I started with, I have my decay particle, and I have to figure out my daughter isotope. And so I'm going to balance this equation just as I would any other type of equation. At the top, I have 245 on the left side and zero here, so I'm not adding or subtracting anything. So that is going to remain... 245. My parent isotope is 93. I have a negative 1 on this side. So my atomic number then will be 94. And here's why it's 94 and not 92. This is a negative 1 on this side. So I'm going to subtract 1 from whatever my atomic number is for my daughter isotope. So 94 minus 1 gets me back to my 93 that I started with on the left side of the equation. Then I'm going to go to the periodic table, and I'm going to find element 94 and write that down. And y'all know I'm blind and can't see my periodic table from way back here in the lab. So let me run up there and see what number that is. Element 94 is plutonium. So I'm going to fill that in for my daughter isotope. I know that plutonium is not stable. So I'm going to write no in my stable column. And my daughter isotope that I've come up with now is going to become my parent isotope on row 2. So I'm going to transfer my plutonium down here to become now my parent isotope. And then I'll draw another card. You'll fill that in from the pictures. Fill in your daughter isotope here. Determine if that's stable or not here. And then your daughter isotope for number two becomes your parent isotope for number three. And we're going to continue working this until we get to a stable isotope. Or we get all the way down to 30 decays and we still don't have a, um, a stable isotope. We'll stop at 30. Um, otherwise, we'll stop before we get to 30.